Full-grown, intact bulls are powerful and dangerous animals. If I don't castrate him sooner than later, the testosterone levels will get him rowdy and rambunctious, and I really want to keep him calm and happy. We can do it at any time, but the bigger they get, the more the uh, restraint becomes important, because as much as he loves you and stuff, as soon as I start sticking needles in him, his behavior will change, and he might try to go through the fence or accidentally run you over or try to hurt me. So. Jenny doesn't really have any kind of large animal restraint. And we've got a one-year-old bull calf that may not want us to poke and prod his testicles. Has he had a tetanus shot? No, he hasn't. My recommendation would be to give him his tetanus vaccine. I feel really strongly that the animal has a current tetanus vaccination. Farms are dirty places, and the surgical site is just waiting to be infected. It takes a few weeks for the vaccine to have effect in the body, so uh, this surgery is just gonna have to wait. Why don't I go get the shot, and then we can tie him over there. Okay. And, because uh, it could still get a little Western. Um, as soon as I stick a needle in his neck, he might try to run off. And then uh, we'll just reschedule, then I can come back to castrate him. Okay, sounds good. All right. We need to be a little bit more prepared for the castration, so I'm gonna call up a couple friends, get a couple of my cowboys over here, and hopefully we can get this going before too long. Okay, now just let him, oops. Okay, just hang on there. Calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay. The difference between an intact and a castrated bull can be huge. How do you want me to tie this? Uh, we're not gonna tie it, probably. We'll just hang on to it. Are you sure? Yeah, because the thing is, if he really pulls back, he could break this. So you're just going to let go if it gets really okay. too bad. But we'll just kind of. We'll let it so he can get his nose in the bucket. OK, or you can have one hand on the rope and one hand on the bucket. While Boo is safely tied up, Buckeye takes the opportunity to see what he'll be up against in a few weeks. Well, there they are. The thing about cattle that's interesting is they can't kick backwards. They have what's called a cow kick. They can kick sideways. So you, you don't want to be on the side where it's normally where you can be for horses. Huh. And horses kick directly back, so you don't want to be behind a horse because they can kick you back. But cattle don't do that, so you're safe directly behind them. But even just giving him the vaccine, it's going to get a little Western, I think. So he'll probably be fine, but just be careful. If he comes around real quick, just get out of there. Okie dokie. Even just poking him with a needle under his skin on his neck, you better be prepared, and you better have some good restraint techniques set in place. I'm just going to go. And there is skin right here. I mean, we're talking about a thousand pound bull calf. Could go wrong. He may kind of not like this, but. Yeah, it's going to be okay, buddy. I want to be quick with it. Okay. Wait, let me get it off. I was a little surprised with Boo's behavior when we put the needle in him because he's so calm and mellow around me. Oh, Bill. So it just shows me I need to be more prepared for the castration. Buckeye's going to have his hands full soon, but at least they'll be armed for the battle. Apparently, Boo has other plans, and they don't involve getting his balls cut off. I can't say I blame him. 